Hi guys, this is Ashish. I'm a junior doctor working in the UK and welcome to Plab Made Easy. In today's video, I want to talk about how you can get into radiology training. And I was getting a lot of requests on my Instagram page to make this video. So here it is. Before I start this video, I want to say that if you want to support my work on YouTube, you can do so by clicking on the like button. You can share this video with your friends and colleagues and you can subscribe to my channel for more such videos. So let's start. Radiology training in the UK is a five year training pathway. You start at ST1, which is specialty training year one. And radiology training is a run through pathway, which means that you don't have to appear for another interview or another examination before joining specialty training. So once you get in, you will complete whole of the training and a super specialty training directly without having any interviews in between. And you'll get a CCT, which is certificate of completion of training after you finish whole of this pathway. So this pathway is at a stretch rather than going for a CT first, which is core training first and then specialty training later. So this is a five year training pathway. The initial three years are for basic radiology training and the final two years are for your subspecialist interest. And this can be in different kind of fields in radiology such as musculoskeletal or cardioradiology or neuroradiology. And once you finish this five year training pathway, you get CCT or certificate of completion of training and then you can become a consultant in radiology. During your training, you'll have to appear in three examinations. The first one is FRCR part one, which is a MCQ examination, and it has anatomy and physics questions. The second one is FRCR part two, and the part A of this exam, and this consists of radiology related questions, which are MCQs, and then there is part B of the part two, and this consists of a rapid reporting session, a long reporting session, and Aviva. So in this figure, you can see whole of the training pathway, which starts at ST1, which is specialty training year one, and ends at ST5, which is specialty training year five. In the first year, you'll have to complete your FRCR part one examination. By the third year, you'll have to complete the final FRCR part A examination. And by the fourth year, you'll have to complete the part B of the final FRCR examination. Along with all these examinations, you'll have to complete the workplace-based assessments, which are DOPS, MINICEX, CBDs, and all of those. And once you have completed all of those, you will get CCT. So it's just not the examinations in which you'll have to appear. You'll have to complete your WBAs or workplace-based assessment as well. Let's talk about the application process. So the applications open up on Oriel, which is our official website. And these applications for radiology ST1 training open up in November. The posts for England, Scotland and Wales are advertised together. And the posts for Northern Ireland radiology training are advertised separately too. So take care of that and go for these applications differently on Oriel. Once you have made your application, put in all your details, you'll be asked to do a self scoring based on your portfolio, which includes your audits, your teachings, different kind of degrees, any awards and a lot of other things. And once you have done your self scoring, you can submit your application. Based on that self scoring, you will be selected for MSRA, which is multi specialty recruitment assessment, which is a common exam for a lot of specialties, including radiology, GP training, ops and gynae, neurosurgery and a lot of this and only 600 applicants will be allowed to go for the MSRA and once you have your MSRA that will be one of your scores which will be added to your final scores which will decide on whether you'll get radiology training or not and the next month which is February you'll have the interviews for radiology and all of these scores will be combined and based on this score, it will be decided whether you are getting a training post or not. And if you get a training post, you will start it in August. 
let's talk about the eligibility criteria for radiology applications so first of all you will need to have your gmc registration which you will get after passing plabs and then you will have to go for your als which is advanced life support course and certification and then you'll have to provide an evidence of achievement of foundation competencies so you'll have to show that you are as competent as a doctor who has completed f51 and f52 in this country for that you can be currently employed in a uk foundation program which is of official training program or you could have been awarded the uk foundation program certificate of completion within the last 3.5 years or you can get a crest form signed after working for 12 months in the nhs in the uk and once you have this crest form this is an evidence of achievement of foundation competencies let's talk about how competitive is it to get into radiology training in the uk so you can see the competition ratios here but competition ratios are not a very good estimate of how competitive a post is and i have made a separate video on this topic so you can check out the link in the description but competition ratios will give us a rough idea about how competitive it is to get into a particular specialty so you can see here that, that the competition ratio for st1 clinical radiology is on an average around four this means that for every four candidates who apply there is just one seat for radiology in the uk so it is a bit tough to get into radiology in the uk because of the high competition ratio and a lot of people who apply in radiology have very good portfolios so they work in different specialties for a few years and make their portfolio which is which is very specific to radiology and they go for all kind of radiology audits all kind of radiology publications they go for a taste a week in radiology and once they have this portfolio they go for application for radiology trading so the competition ratios it's is much higher in comparison to specialties like gp training or medicine training but it's not impossible to get into radiology and i know a lot of imgs who have who have been selected for radiology training in the uk so don't lose hope around this that is all for this video i hope that this video gave you an idea about how radiology training works in the uk i will be making another video soon which will describe on how you can make a radiology specific portfolio so that you don't get into a lot of trouble when you're applying for radiology and you get into the training easily so if you don't want to miss any updates on this channel click on the subscribe button like this video share this video with your friends and colleagues and i will see you soon in another video thanks for watching